I'm going to read through Blessing by Imtiaz Darker. This is in preparation for your Edexcel IGCSE English Literature exam, paper one. So looking at the title, Blessing, um, we have religious connotations. And we'll notice as we read through the poem um, that this is used throughout as an extended metaphor, as if um, water is a gift from God. Um, so you'll see many references to religion. Um, it's interesting to, to when we look at the next two lines to realise that the title contrasts with the first two lines. So the title, I think, um, makes the reader expect to read about maybe a community that's privileged, that is seen as um, as lucky and um, and has a, a good life. Um, and then to read the next two lines, which we'll move on to now, um, obviously it's the complete opposite of that. So the first two lines read, the skin cracks like a pod, there never is enough water. So we immediately have this image created through the simile um, of suffering and pain. So we can imagine just how dry um, the conditions are for the skin to crack like a pod. And those harsh consonant sounds in the word cracks helps reflect the harshness of the scorching sun, um, as well as the adverb never creating this kind of relentlessness, this feeling that their suffering never ends um, as well. So this is really important. And we'll come back to this at the end of this video when we talk about form and structure. But this helps set the scene. Um, so that when eventually the municipal pipe bursts, we realise why that's a big deal. I think if this poem started with that, the reader wouldn't appreciate why this is seen um, as almost um, something sacred. Um, so it's important that we grasp the desperation of this community at this stage in the poem. Imagine the drip of it, the small splash echo in a tin mug, the voice of a kindly God. So I think by using the word imagine, um, darker, it, darker's intentions are shown here. And I, I think, and, and this is definitely up for interpretation, and I encourage you to think about your own interpretation, but I think she wants to encourage the reader to empathise with those um in such such poverty um as as these um children in an indian slum um so i think that's the whole point of this stanza is to encourage the reader to really try and experience in some way what this must be like and i think hence why she um appeals to the senses so much especially in in this stanza and we've got the onomatopoeia sounds of the drip, the splash, echo. Um, so it engages the senses, encourages the reader to, to be much more involved um, in this experience because she wants to encourage you to really empathise with those that are less privileged. Um, you'll notice quite a few monosyllable um, monosyllables, drip, small, splash, tin, mug as well. Um, I think that emphasises the severe hydration, dehydration as well. Um, but then you do have the small splash. So you've got that um, sibilance, which you could argue actually um, elongates those mon monosyllables. Um, it's really difficult to say the, the letter S in a short way. And I think that could reflect the um, kind of the long wait for water. And I think that helps kind of build anxiety and desperation for this drip of water. Um, echo ends on um, ends the line, which recreates the effect of an echo. It kind of trails off, um, which again, I think helps the reader um, in some way experience this. Uh, and then the, we've got this extended metaphor, voice of a kindly God. So the sounds of this water and it's just a drip. It's just a splash. So we know it's, it's very little water, but it is likened to 
the voice of a kindly God. And I think that helps accentuate the scarcity of water, that it is so rare to have water, that it is seen as something sacred, as seen as a great gift from God, and it is certainly not taken for granted like it potentially would be by um, a privileged reader. And then we start to see something change. Sometimes the sudden rush of fortune, the municipal pipe bursts, silver crashes to the ground and the flow has found a roar of tongues. From the huts a congregation, every man, woman, child, the streets around butts in with pots, brass, copper, aluminium, plastic buckets, frantic hands. Um, so straight away, the adverb sometimes emphasising that this is a special occasion. It doesn't happen all the time. And that is why it's considered a blessing, because it is something unusual. Um, we have diction, fortune and silver crashes. Um, this is a metaphor to accentuate the value of water. It is likened to silver. And again, I think this is darker, trying to help the reader understand how valuable um, water is to this community by using a material that would be valuable to them, um, i.e. silver. Um, and the flow, uh, the flow has found, I just feel like there's a flow, the alliteration of flow and found, I think just uh, mirrors the flow of the water, the sudden rush. Um, we have a suggestion here of hysteria as well, the roar of tongues, no punctuation between man, woman, child and these frantic hands. Um, so all of that in blue, I think, helps um, create this um, sense of chaos, which helps highlight what a big deal this moment is, um, that this pipe bursts and they get to have um, this flow of water, which um, they see as as a gift from God. The listing as well helps add to that chaos. Um, we have this uh, religious connotations again of a congregation um, and it almost kind of sanctifies this moment and again rather than it just being an accident it ends up um, being viewed as a gift from God and I think that just highlights how grateful they feel for something as what a privileged reader would see as something is very simple. Um, and I think that encourages us to um, sympathise. Um, and then in the final stanza, and naked children screaming in the liquid sun, their highlights polished to perfection, flashing light as the blessing sings over their small bones. Um, so despite this fortune, this great rush, this excitement, it's really important that this poem, I think, ends in this way. We have reminders that they're still poor, they're still desperate. And this is really just a short term fix um, for a, a terrible situation that they're in. And um, the naked children, the fact that the sun, the um, sorry, the water. Um, almost emphasizes their bone structure. That's what it means by highlights polished to perfection. Their highlights really are their bones um, and it ends on small bones. And this just highlights the vulnerability of the children. I think it's really important as well that it's children that are mentioned because these are the future of this community. And it suggests that there isn't, um, there is very little hope for them um, in that respect, despite the blessing that they are currently enjoying. Um, again, we've got this religious imagery as well. The flashing light could be likened to the presence of God. Um, the blessing sings as well. And I forget to mention that this is personification as well. Um, so this great sense, the community would have this great sense that there is this the presence of a God um, that is literally blessing them with water. Um, and also the liquid sun, um, which creates the image of um, the sun shining on the water, you could argue, or is it a metaphor as well? Um, but it's, it's presented really as this great 
fortune. One thing I forgot to mention as well is screaming. That's quite ambiguous. Um, they're screaming because they're extremely happy, but obviously there's negative connotations as well. You could argue that that's um, a reminder of the pain and suffering that these children go through every day of the year. And this is just a very tiny break um, from their reality. So overall, um, I think the poem really is, could be divided into three parts. I think the first two stanzas um, help set the scene. We've got this uh, image of suffering. Um, and it's like I said before, it's really important to have to have that understanding of this community, to understand the significance of what happens in stanza three, stanzas three and four. The longer stanza in the middle, so you'll notice that um, that they are unequal stanzas. Um, and we have all that enjambment all the way through, actually, not just um, not just in this stanza, but this one in particular, I feel, um, helps create that element of, of excitement when the pipe bursts. Um, I've read some interpretations about this representing also the flow of water. Uh, so that's one thing that you could um, you could look into yourself. Um, and then finally, I feel like the final stanza is a reminder that this is just a temporary relief and ending the poem with small bones highlights that the reality doesn't change just because a municipal pipe bursts they are still a community um, in great pain great suffering um, and because they are children it suggests that that will be the future for that community as well so i feel like there is a sense of hopelessness towards um, the end of this poem, despite the great fortune of them having a um, having the blessing of water. Um, so I haven't written it down, but um, themes you could look at poverty, you could look at um, religion, um, luck as well. Um, but I think this is a real thing about. I feel like the main focus of this poem is to encourage. Um, the reader to really consider and reflect on their own privileges as well um, and to rethink the how they feel about their own lives and um, some of the difficulties they may feel that they um, they have and are they anything in comparison to what this community goes through. 